Hello everybody and welcome back to Wine Bomb. Just wanted to take a quick opportunity to say thank you for watching my videos and showing support as we continue to develop content here at Wine Bomb. Uh, wine Bomb's about having a casual approach to wine education. Uh, it's about having fun and ultimately about reveling in these shared experiences that we're going to be having. I mean, I'm really excited about what's to come. Uh, and again, so I just sincerely wanted to thank everybody for showing their support. Today we're going to be focusing on different resources that you're going to be having access to uh, should you decide that you want to continue your wine education, whether or not you're a casual um, wine drinker at home or if you want to take a more professional approach and get certifications or or even be a sommelier. Um, when I first started my education, it I, I found myself having trouble trying to find really good resources for a beginner in wine. Um, I can tell you firsthand that the first book that I bought was Karen McNeil's Wine Bible, and the very first line that I highlighted was, wine is made from grapes. Uh, so, I mean, we all got to start somewhere, right? Um, this is and this is what I'm talking about. You you need something that you can have a good start in. Uh, and after I've been spending the last three years in the wine industry, I've got a good set of resources that I think everyone ultimately could take advantage of. And um, the great thing about a lot of these is that they're 100% free. Um, I've got a couple of book recommendations that I'll throw in there as well for you. But ultimately, I just want everybody to be aware of, of what's out there. Um, first, you have Wine Folly. Madeline Puckett is a wonderful psalm based out of Washington, but she's got um, a website, Wine Folly, that has a lot of really great information that, uh, again, is 100% free. It covers things like grapes and styles and the wine regions that they're associated with. Um, and she even has things like wine maps. She has information on how to decode wine labels, uh, even pairings. Um, and a lot of it is consolidated together in her book. Uh, it's Wine Folly by Madeline Puckett. Again, it's just a fantastic resource uh, that has a lot of information that I think if you are serious about wine, you would find very, very interesting. Um, Again, uh, if, if you are interested in that one, they have two versions of that. They have the one that I showed you and then also a master's edition, which compiles things like recipes and whatnot that goes a little bit more detail into the pairing side of it and the chemical side of it, um, a lot more in-depth maps and whatnot. Um, but again, fantastic resources. And I think for anybody who's serious about wine, it's, it's invaluable. Um, second, uh, something has popped up recently, especially with the, the pandemic, that there is, um, I believe it's called Online uh, Wine Course. It's an Instagram-based uh, program uh, from a sum down in LA. Um, and it's a three and a half hour program, but she gives you a certification at the end of it. And ultimately it's for beginner, beginners in wine who are looking at furthering their education. Normally I think it's somewhere around $80 for the program, but for people in the industry um, who are finding themselves out of work, uh, she's offering it 100% free. Um, so again, these are resources that if, if you didn't know that to look for them, you would never even know that they were there. Um, but I think that this is a really great opportunity to share some wonderful information because um, I can get, only give you so much. If there's better resources out there, I really want you to be able to take advantage of them. Um, next, there's Guildsom. Guildsom is uh, run and owned by Jeff Kruth, who's a master sommelier. Uh, I believe he lives in LA as well. But he compiles a such in-depth and wide breadth of information that as a beginner you could go into it. He's got articles, videos, podcasts, um, and all of those are free as well. Uh, and it covers everything from the chemistry behind winemaking to the chemistry behind tasting to you know what grapes that they uh, use to make wines in South Africa. Um, even just tasting itself. There's tasting videos that he has on there. Um, but he's usually tasting with other master, master sommeliers. He's also tasting with other advanced sommeliers, people who are very active in the industry. And that's what Guild Somme ultimately is about. It's about building a community of um, wine serious thinkers uh, in the industry and kind of developing programs and developing the industry as a whole. So it's very forward thinking. Um, again, it's, it is a lot of very dense, very 
thoughtful information. Um, and I think out of all of the resources, if you really want to dive deep into wine education, I don't think you're going to be able to beat that. If you really do like where this takes you, then if you are getting certifications um, through the Court of Master Sommeliers, they if you sign up for your introductory course, you actually get your first year subscription to Guild Sum for free as well, um, which would normally be $100 for the year. But once you are a member of Guild Sum, you have access to a ton of articles, a lot of um, um, educational tools that you can use for uh, inside a restaurant if you're trying to train and develop a staff. Uh, they have they give access to that as well. A lot of different wine quizzes if you're trying to practice for exams that are coming up. Um, and they recently have developed it so that not only does it look at the Court of Master Sommeliers, but it also started looking at the WSET um, programs as well. Um, and it covers anything from wine to coffee to cigars and tea and spirits, um, just an insane breadth of knowledge to be had on Guild Sum. Um, so I think you'd be doing yourself a real service if you at least checked it out. Um, lastly, there's a there's a book, it's not free, but if you are serious about at least getting started in, in wine education and kind of checking things out, um, the book that I found when I started that helped me the most was uh, Windows on the World Complete Wine Course by Kevin Zraeli. This book reads very similar to a textbook. It has very clear cut, defined um, facts that I think would be useful to most people who are trying to begin an education, but then it's also got tasting exercises, it's got um, short exams, it's got uh, short essay questions so that you can constantly challenge yourself to test yourself on, on your wine knowledge. Um, but it covers all of the basic knowledge you would need to pass the introductory course. And I would argue that it even to an extent uh, for the Court of Master Sommeliers would at least get you started on your path to passing the uh, the Certified Sommelier exam as well. Um, so again, just a, a beautiful book that's been around for a while. They do uh, new editions almost yearly, but it doesn't matter a ton on the edition that you're getting in terms of this book because a lot of the only things that they're adjusting are um, recent vintages you know it's because they'll say things like uh 2010 was a fantastic vintage in bordeaux um well 2010 is still a great vintage in bordeaux but now they've got information for 2017 so they will release a new edition just to kind of define the new vintages as they're released um, but again kevin israeli is such a wonderful resource if you're interested at all in, in advancing your education um, and all of these resources are really going to uh, be covering information the world over. You'll have information on wines from from Bordeaux, from America, South Africa, New Zealand, seriously any country that pr produces wine, these resources will have information on them. Um, you'll have information on how to decode wine labels. If there's no varietal that's on on a wine bottle, it'll give you the information necessary for you to look at a wine label and say, oh, I'm drinking Pinot Noir. Oh, I'm drinking Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so again, as we're going through these things, I will be addressing them as well, um, but I can only create content so fast. So if your interest is piqued, don't wait for me. These are, like I said, invaluable resources that are available to you 100% free. Um, but I have one last one to share with you. And I'm a little biased in, in this one as well. But ultimately, I think the best free resources out there right now is uh, is Winebob. I, you know, I'm doing it myself. Uh, but part of the reason why I think that is, is I'm developing content live at this point. So if you have something you're interested in or you want um, some information on something, let me know. Uh, and I can develop content around your interests. Uh, you can send me a message um, on Messenger or, or leave a comment in the comment section and I can answer your questions in live time. So if you are in the middle of your education, um, we can address where you're going to need help as you need help. Uh, so I think it's a great way to take advantage of a fledgling program as it's being developed because ultimately I'm doing this so that I can help people in the industry so I can help people who are interested in wine as well because um, like I said 
Uh, this is my passion and I want to be able to share this passion with everybody because it's these shared experiences that I think ultimately are going to make this a great program and ultimately have us sharing some really excellent experiences. Um, we don't have any wine today, but uh, we do have a wine tasting that we'll be doing come Friday. And so I would like to share the wines that we're going to be tasting with you. Um, like I said, we're going to be focusing a lot on grocery store wines because uh, as we're battling with this pandemic and, and being sheltered in place, I really can't justify asking people to go out on a special wine trip just to buy wines to taste with me. So I would like you know, to offer you the easiest avenue possible to procure wines that you could be tasting with me as we go through week to week. Um, we are going to be covering a wide array of different uh, price points. So we're going to start at the bottom. Uh, we're going to be starting with Barefoot Wines. I'm going to be drinking the California Chardonnay. Uh, but if you are not a Chardonnay fan, pull anything from Barefoot. Um, and I was also going to get an Edna Valley Pinot Noir, um, the producer's Edna Valley. Um, and you should be able to get both of these uh, at any of your local grocery stores. And that's ultimately what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for accessibility. Um, and I they've got a really exciting thing that we're going to be doing. I'm actually really, really excited about this upcoming video because there was a lot of information available because it's it's all umbrellaed under one of the largest wine producers in the United States, and that's uh, Ian J. Gallo. Um, and there's just so much interesting facts and history about uh, this winemaker that I really, really look forward to sharing with you. Um, so if you are able to get a uh, barefoot wine to enjoy with me or Edna Valley or Frey Brothers or Apothic, if you're an Apothic drinker, um, th these are all E and J Gallo wines. Uh, so go ahead, grab a bottle and I look forward to sharing a glass with you. I'll see you soon. Somebody buys some wine, somebody buys, and somebody pours, but if you buy half gallons, you'll play and it's mine.